Hey guys, this is Adrian Boisel, and I wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to cut the background out of a picture. So I'm gonna use a photo that's gonna make it pretty easy today, uh, but we're gonna go ahead and show you a couple of the different ways that you can do that. So the first way is to use your magic selection, magic wand tool. So I'm gonna click that tool. You can see here I have my tolerance up to 32, it says point sample. I have it set up right here, so it's got on the new selection. And then I'm gonna click, I'm actually gonna double click and hold Alt and op or option and double click the layer there it unlocks it Then i'm going to click right here you can see it cut nicely around my head i'm going to click it right here i'm going to holding down shift doing the same thing i'm just going to move this out of the way do the same thing here you can see did a really great job there filled everything in i'm going to grab it right here boom went around the edge i'm going to grab it right there oh you can see it actually cut my laptop out so we'll have to come back to that i'll click i'm holding down shift this whole time I'm gonna do the same thing over here, same thing there. Just a couple little spots you can see that it didn't pick up right there. And we'll just do this. I can go click on my marquee tool. I can hold down shift and it'll add to the selection. Make sure it's not missing anything. And if I want to, I can go back to the marquee, hold the plus, the shift sign again, it'll add it to it. I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna bring that all in there, fill that in, do the same thing. One of the other ways that I like to do it is I use this polygon lasso tool. I can hold down shift, click in here, go right around my shoulder, and I could zoom in and get this really, really, really nice if I wanted to. What I do now is I hold alt or option and I need to subtract this from here. So I'm gonna go up in here, I'm gonna click this, click this, go up here, bring this just around. I'm, I'm actually drawing this one, but I wanna make sure that I don't lose any of my laptop here. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag all the way around here. I wanna remove this from the picture. So I'm gonna go in here. Boom, you can see here it took it out. I'm just gonna grab this same thing here while I'm holding down Alt and Option. I'll do the same thing here. So I don't want anything in here. We did a pretty clean job. I'm just gonna make sure I clean it up a little bit. Hold down plus sign there again, the Shift option or the Shift button. There we go. Bring this around. And this is gonna be a lot easier than doing like a, a ladies hair. And this is not the tool that I'd be using if I was doing hair. Uh, but because I'm wearing a hat, that makes it much easier. So what I would do is I'd use the background eraser tool. So I'm gonna go back to my quick selection. I'm gonna hit the shift button again and hit plus. I'm gonna add that to it. You can see here a little reflection right there and right here. Fastest way to do that is I'm just gonna hold my marquee tool, hit the shift button, bye-bye. Shift button, bye-bye. So now I have almost all of this selected. I'm gonna use my polygon lasso just to make sure I get it nice and clean around here. Let's see here. There we go come down in here it doesn't need to be perfect just want to get it as close as possible so now you'd probably be surprised so what you could do is you could just erase the background if you really wanted to that's probably the easiest thing to do I could just show you how that would look I go to my layers I'm select this layer because I unlocked it I just hit delete and there it goes right but now I've permanently edited the photo which I don't want to do so what I'm actually gonna do now right click on here I'm gonna hit select inverse and I'm gonna hit layer mask boom and there it is. So you can see my layer mask there. So now I can create a new layer I can drag it here below. I can make this blue if I want. Let's just say I wanted to make it blue. So there we go. Now I can click and drag this. I can click and drag that there. Look at that nice, clean blue background. And if I want to refine it, so like see this little area right here by my shoulder, because I have this as a layer mask, I can now just remove this layer mask. I'm going to go to my brush. I'm going to make this a lot smaller. Make sure that your hardness is turned all the way up. So you don't get any blurriness and I'm just going to, whoa, wrong way. I'm going to flip it to white. I'm going to add some white back into this. You can see here, look at that. I can add that right back. I can make it look really clean, really nice. There we go. So that looks really good. So this will work for a thumbnail. So I'm actually going to use this image for my thumbnails. I can click and drag this thing and move it around now. Um, the next thing that I wanted to show you is how you can do that same exact thing with the background eraser tool. So let me show you real fast. So I'm gonna open up that same image. I'm actually gonna place that image. And when I place it, it's gonna place it as a smart object. So let me go to my downloads, this one here. There we go. So yeah, I added that photo back in there and you can see it made it a smart object. So what I'll need to do now is I can actually still go in here and I can use the background eraser tool. There should be a background. Here we go, background eraser tool. There we go. All right, so what I'm gonna do is actually because to make this great, it doesn't ruin the original photo on here. I'm gonna double click this. It's gonna open up in a new document, new tab. 
and I'm gonna edit this one. So this is not the smart object. What I do wanna do though is hit the Alt and Option. There we go. And now I'm gonna go over to my background eraser tool. And you can see here, there's three different options. In the options, you have continuous sampling, which is not what I wanna do. You have sampling once, which is what I'm going to do. And then you have the background swatch. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go over the background here and we'll just pull something that's close to my hat, like probably on the darker side, I'm gonna hit Alt, right? I'm gonna click on this and you see Alter Option. I'm gonna click on that and you can see it, it got that color, right? Now what I need to do is make my brush much bigger by hitting the bracket tool, the outside bracket tool. And look at this, look how amazing this is. Oops, and because I got it so over the edge, you wanna still try to get it close, so let me just do this. There we go, you can see here. All right, there we go. I'm gonna go right around the edge of my hat. Pretty quick, huh? And I am getting rid of part of my hat here, and that is a little bit of a downside. This tool is not perfect, but it definitely is very, very helpful. I'm gonna have to hit Alter Option again, pick a new color swatch here. There we go. See, it's taking off part of my head. And you can actually adjust this by messing with the tolerance. So I can go like this, there we go. And it's gonna protect it a little bit more. You can just adjust these settings just a little bit more as needed. But there's a lot of people that like to use this function because it's, it's pretty nice and it does a pretty good job, especially around hair, if you're gonna be using hair. But you can see on the other version that I did when there's not a lot of that stuff and you have a clear background like this, it's really nice to just use the quick selection, the magic wand tool, which is really, really easy because now I have to go through this whole thing and try to remove the background this way. And I have to keep sampling the background. So this is a, a way to do it. I don't prefer this method, a lot of people do. I've seen a lot of tutorials on people using this method, uh, but some, some, sometimes I've learned tricks uh, that are just my personal tricks that I've been using for a long time and I just like to stick with what I know. So let me turn the tolerance all the way up. There we go. So you can see here, that's actually gonna get rid of a lot of it if I have the tolerance there. So what I typically do is run it around 30 to 50, sample this again, and it's just gonna pull that out. Sample this again, pull this out. Sample this, pull that out. Sample this, pull that out. Sample that right there. I'm gonna go in here, and I'm gonna have to keep sampling. You can do the continuous one if you want, but I personally like doing it this way each his own let's see here so it's gonna take a lot longer to remove the background in my opinion this way especially when I have such a clean background but again if you're using it to remove the background behind hair this is a really really good way to do it so this is gonna help you a lot and I don't have any hair to show you me pulling the background out but I wanted to show you the simple ways where you can move or back remove a background from an image now the cool part is about this tool with the magic eraser here let me show you back again if I sample this, right, and I pull this out and make this way bigger, right, because I can do a, a much bigger sampling. Here we go. There we go. Now, once I get everything removed around me, I'm going to make this a little smaller, sample this area. There we go. I can now use my other tool, my quick selection that I did before. There we go. And I can use a combination of both. Because I've got myself cut out for the most part, I can quickly remove the background. Now, if you remember when the video I did about smart objects, if I actually hit save right now, I'm gonna have to save this. There we go. You can see here, the smart object, whoops, I didn't save all the way. There we go. Okay. So, Let's see, we'll just go ahead and remove these completely because I got really close to the edge there. I can just now go in here and let's try the continuous magic wand or magic eraser, background eraser. So let's just try this. Works pretty good, but see how, how sensitive it is. You probably have to turn down your tolerance even more. So I'm gonna make this smaller. Let's see how it's not pulling out. So let me just do this, Alt, hit that. It's gonna pull out all of that color now. So this is the background eraser tool. I personally like to use the magic wand tool. That's my personal favorite. 
But as you can see here, this does a pretty good job and I did it pretty quick. I'll hit my W because I know that shortcut, just remove that out of there. Go back to my magic wand or my background eraser tool, sample this, just delete that out of there. Go back to my eraser tool. There you go. I'll sample this, just delete that out of there. So either way you go, it's gonna take a little bit of time to really dial this thing in, uh, whether you use the continuous or you're sampling each of it. But mess with your tolerances, figure out what's best for you. The key is to practice. Well, I did a video on this years ago uh, and got a lot of views, but I got a lot of negative feedback because all I used was the magic wand tool and the polygon lasso tool. So I wanted to show you some other ways to do it uh, with some of the new features that Adobe has integrated. They've gotten really, really smart about their stuff. Let's create a new layer real quick and we'll drop in some black. And we'll just go to the magic, the, not the magic, we'll go to the bucket, the paint bucket tool again, and we'll see what we left behind. So you can see here, it's still not really that clean. I'll have to go in here with an eraser tool now and actually get rid of all of this extra stuff that's clogging it up. See there, let me go back to the other tool here, the background eraser tool, there we go. I'm actually gonna sample I'll pull this color out of there. There we go. You can see the tolerance is very low. I'm not make, I'm not wanting to change or screw up this image at all. So I can turn this tolerance back up to like 50. Go like this now. See that, it removed part of my ear. Don't I want that. So you gotta be really careful. So you can see how clean it was for me to edit the same photo with the magic wand selection tool. It's a very nice tool to have. It's very helpful. Uh, I prefer to use this tool, the magic wand tool. Uh, and then I just refine it with the polygon lasso or the lasso tool or even the marquee tool to get exactly what I'm looking for. So wanted to make this tutorial for you guys to show you how I cut the backgrounds out of images. Hopefully this helps you guys out. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next tutorial. Thank you guys so much. God bless. And as always, keep looking up.